I'm Megan. And this is Jack. Then there was Ezra. And let's not forget Hendrix. We're the Marchants, and this is our life. goodbye to my gran, my dad's mum today and I haven't seen my family, most of them since Christmas. Um, life, life obviously just gets in the way and then we went on holiday and then coronavirus has happened so it's kind of just stopped everyone from seeing one another and it's really odd that Today is the first day for almost six months that we're seeing one another. It's sad, really. Something like this is the first time of us seeing one another and we can't even hug one another. We have to sit outside in my dad's garden, which is fine. It's a beautiful day today. It's really sad that out of everyone that I won't be able to hug my dad. It is a horrible way to have to see your family for the first time. Me and my sister just wanted to take any pressure off my dad for today and make food. So she, my sister is making sandwiches and stuff and then we're having cakes and I've made some pinwheels. Now some of these, you may say bun. I'd say that's pesto coming through. These ones look okay. I'm not a baker. Or maybe it's that I'm that good that I need to fluff my baking up so everyone else feels better about theirs. I believe that it's not about what it looks like, it's how it tastes. So let's just pray that they taste good. <laughs> See how the day goes. And we're off. To see the wizard. Off to see the wizard. There is, there is no wizard. Just rocked up to the uh, cemetery and uh, me and Amy were in the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. We're home. It was a lovely but also odd day. It was gorgeous weather. Us as a family, as a, an immediate family, did go back to my dad's house just for some sam like just for some sandwiches, a light lunch. We all sat on our own picnic blankets and um, stayed away from one another. Ezra wandered. Or two. It was a nice day. And now we're home. Jack's drilling, and I just want to sit down. There are dishes over there, and I don't want to do those. <laughs> I hate dishes. Ezra's out. Ezra. This was not my dog. Hendrix being up his bed and Jack is saying nothing. What is he doing? I'm gonna tell him off. Oi! You stop that right now, I'm watching you. This morning has been incredibly dull. It's been very adult-like of organization, cleaning. You just don't want to do of a weekend. Hmm. Why did we get a house? Can you not just live with your parents forever? Why would you want to live with your parents 
forever. But now that we've got the adulting out of the way, we are going to a place called Fiddleford Mill in Stemminster Newton. I may pronounce some of that wrong. Not great with words or pronouncing them. So a packed picnic, Ezra's ready and napped. Let's go to Fiddleford. That sounds like a fun place. Even though I grew up around here, this is the first time I've actually visited Fiddleford. I don't know why I've never been here before, but it's absolutely beautiful. The main thing I wanted to do when I had children was to take them to places that they would never forget, making memories that would last a lifetime. To remember good times and not just things. It's, it's a sweaty day. Do you like me to do? That's some ointment into my bum cheeks. Mm. Give me a sweaty walk. Yeah, there go. <laughs> See ya! So I've not been to a shop since March and I have to be honest, it was kind of surreal seeing the markings on the floor and watching people walk by with face masks. But I've been so wrapped up in my own little bubble, I kind of was oblivious to a lot of it and it just felt like a normal shopping trip. Finally, we have put something up above our bed, decided to shelf and we're going to fill it with plants and some prints. So excited, it kind of felt a really like dead empty space. Just picked up these little guys and the um and the ivy over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna share some advice with you. Now we know cactuses are sharp, but when you look at this bunny ear one, I mean you think it's quite an innocent little plant, but I took it out of the wrapper and it brushed against my skin. And I still feel like I'm itching. So from me to you, don't let a cactus touch your skin. You may have already known that, but if you didn't, lesson for today. You're welcome. Genius. Genius. That's what you call Chat Marches. You aren't allowed to touch the remote anymore, huh? So we started doing a Sharpie pen wall. Unfortunately, though, that didn't go to plan. I've got bad news for you. What have you done? Nothing. The Sharpie pens aren't great. Yeah, your paintbrush is that. Well, that's either, so I've drawn on all the circles. So it's either now infilling them with paint, with a paintbrush, or creating some sort of splodge that creates a circle. A sponge. Either sponge or some, like, piece of wood or something that can dip into paint and then go onto the wall. Well... I can do the paintbrush, it's just, it's just going to take longer. Okay, so I'm going to start with a brush and paint and see how I get on. Okay, so I'll see you when I'm dead. Yeah, because that's how long this is going to take me. So I've dabbed that with some paint and that is a firm no on the sponge back to the paintbrush <laughs>
lots of bits and bobs going on around the house. Jack's making plenty of shells for all the plants I'm gonna buy. We managed to have two burn accidents today. Ezra this morning decided to grab hold of my straighteners. Granted, I looked away for a second. Just can't trust them. Luckily, he actually didn't burn himself. I got to him in time. Me screaming, no, at the top of my lungs. Um, hey. Was the thing that actually made him cry. The, you're okay. The second burn accident was for me. Uh, I was being lazy, couldn't be bothered to get the ironing board and I burnt my leg. Ouchie. That's sore, huh? Ouch. It's not funny. Do you kiss it better? Do you kiss mummy's leg better? Ouch. No. Also, we're twinning. A good little nap. Hi, you jiggy. I never got any such animals growing up. Oh, wait, actually, that's not true. I did. My dad gave me. Mm. Morning. 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 <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? What's on your lip? <laughs> Something exciting that has arrived today, hasn't it? Yeah. Today in the post, I have received Valspar vouchers. I've been in contact with them and they have kindly sent us vouchers so we can paint the outside of our house. It's all been plastered and I am so excited to use these. Oh, what? Welcome to my wall. So, I have dipped this in some paint and I'm going to show you what it's like on the wall. Are you ready? Would you like to come close? Remember, this isn't perfect. You. Can you say, can you say hello? Can you say hello? Can you wave? Go higher. No? Seriously. Seriously. Go, hello. Love you. Oh. <laughs> we are at Lamford. We parked up at the Morrisons, which is a pay and display car park. You literally just walk across and there's a huge green room and loads of like benches and trees with loads of shading and a beautiful river, which is the River Stroud. Stroud? Stroud. 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 
Stour. Here's the River Stour. Nice, huh? along this little bridge and Jack's like oh I can hear music booming someone's going boom boom it's my weight on the bridge that's going boom boom I can only blame the little person that I'm holding for the uh, extra gain weight around the midriff thigh and buttocks region did you give my boom boom <laughs> Ezra, how do you feel about being in our first isolation for you? Plants, plants, plants. Never used to be like this, bud. I'll never be the same again. Mm. Don't walk over that line. Oh, you rebel. <laughs> Mr. Bet, Mr. Bet, Mr. Bet, wait, wait, wait. I see you at the edge. Thank you for watching. Give us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.